group of people I've just met, they were lucky they didn't have to hear me make a speech. <laughs> well, I'm delighted that so many of you are here and with us today in the White House. I want you to know that I know and understand the many problems that you face as elected officials. And after meeting with Margaret and George the day before yesterday, I have an even greater appreciation of the problems that you face on a daily basis. And for this reason, I greatly cherish the support that I've received from you as Republican elected officials and even some who weren't Republican. <laughs> and uh, I know that many of you have worked with Rich Williamson and his staff in the development of the Federalism Initiative and other administration proposals. And I, for your help, I'd like to say thank you again. Over the past two years, I've had an opportunity to get to know Margaret Hans, who's been tremendously helpful and candid in her assessment of many of our initiatives. And Margaret, I wrote a letter to you. Where are you? I'm hiding. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't mail it. I don't mean that I don't have some confidence in the post office. <laughs> But uh, I framed it instead because I don't want you to forget how grateful I am for all that you've done, uh, not only for us and the administration, but for our country. Thank you very much. I'm trying not to do something unmayoral like cry. <laughs> But as I told the president on one other occasion, it's so easy to support someone who is right. Thank you. Thank you very much. This lady has done a very great job. And uh, you've done a great job. And it hasn't been easy. And I would like also to congratulate Mayor George Israel, as he assumes the role now of president of the National Conference of Republican Mayors and Municipal Officials. And George knows that I look forward to working with him in the next year, the, the year ahead. And last but not least, I'd like for all of you to know that I do appreciate the many sacrifices that you've made and that you make, as well as the input that you've provided to us 
over these last two years. And I hope we'll keep this relationship because I still say what I said when we started trying to convince the Congress that they should loosen the reins. We've managed to do some of it, but we want to complete the job. And that is really the basic philosophy of this country. And as a matter of fact, in 1932, the Democratic National Platform said it all. I don't think they've used that platform, but, uh, <laughs> but it said that one of their planks was, and I know because I was a Democrat then, and it was to restore to states and local communities the authority and autonomy that has been unjustly seized by the federal government. And I want to see that done. <laughs> I'm just going to tell a little story, and then I'm going to get off of here so that you can enjoy yourselves. I enjoy telling this around the circles here in the White House. And uh, if you've heard it, don't tell me, because I want to tell it again. <laughs> I know that you get advice, as I do, and all those people who can make economic projections out there for years ahead and what's going to happen. There were three men that died and arrived at St. Peter's gates at the same time. And St. Peter said that unfortunately at that moment there was only room for one. And he said, we've decided that whichever one of you is practicing the oldest trade or profession, whatever that may be, is the one that will be admitted. And one stepped forward and said, well, I think that means me. He said, we know that the Lord made Adam and then he made Eve from a rib of Adam which required surgery. I am a surgeon, so I guess that's the oldest profession. And before he could go through the gates, the second man said, just a minute. He said, we're told that before the Lord made Adam, that all was chaos and that he then worked and created the earth in six days. Obviously, he was an engineer, which is what I am. And as he started to step forward, the third man said, wait, I'm an economist. Where do you think they got all that chaos? <laughs> Thank you all very much, and it's a great pleasure to have you here in this, your house, uh, tonight, because it is the house of all of you. Thank you. Thank you very much.